Hi, this is Andy from ATF Guitars. This is a quick intro video for those of you who bought one of these USB guitar cables from us. Um, use in conjunction with the quick start guide on the CD included, but hopefully this will help some of you out to uh, getting this device working with MuLab, the software we've included. Now we're just going into MuLab for the first time here, uh, and we're going to select the uh, driver type ASIO and then the driver we want is the ASIO for all version 2 and then we're going to go into the control panel which will open up the ASIO for all settings this is where we select the inputs and outputs we want to use within MuLab the USB headphone set is our input that's your USB guitar cable and for an output you just select whatever uh, sound card your speakers or headphones are attached to when you close this window, it's important if you made any changes to select the ASIO for all driver again. This just refreshes things behind the scenes in MuLab. And then once you've done that, you should use the input and output selectors to make sure that your inputs are the USB headphone set. And your outputs are, again, whatever outputs you want to use for your particular sound card. Here my sound card's got lots here, I'm just going to deselect all the ones that I don't need, just to keep things simple. So OK here, and then OK again, and MuLab will open up for the first time. You can get back to those settings at any time in MuLab through the Edit menu and Audio settings. Here we're just saying no to the initial demo, MuLab always asks that the first time you fire it up. And now we're going to go and create a new session, blank slate, so we can start making some noise. So here we are with our blank slate. I'm going to select the first track here and we're going to switch on our recording options that's the audio recording button and then if we right click that we have to select where we're going to monitor I'm going to monitor through rack 1 which is down on the bottom left of the screen and the monitoring's on and now we can hear my guitar level's a bit low though so I'm going to go to the um, normal windows volume control and I'm going to select the right device and record options and just here we've got our volume slider here there's also a built-in amplifier on the USB cable I've just switched that on uh, AGC is auto gain control just to get our levels right so there's the guitar we've got some noise next step is to add some effects so we need to load some effects into the rack I'm going to load one of the VST plugins that is included with all the freeware on the CD. I'm going to use the Freeamp version 3 plugin. This is kind of a, a, it's a brilliant all-in-one plugin. It does amplifier and cabinet simulation and has a load of uh, stomp box type effects built in. So you can see our sounds changed already. Um, we've got various options. I'm just adjusting some tone controls here or control with the mouse. There's loads of stuff you can do with this. I'm only scratching the surface here. We'll go into high gain channel, we'll loads of gain and different types of uh, overdrive. That sounds nasty, but there are some really nice sounds in here. Once you've played with the amp, you've then got three slots for a wide selection of stomp box type effects uh, chorus flanges, delays, distortions, wires, pitch shifters, you name it. I'm just picking a couple at random here. We can have multiple effects. There are three banks here, and each one has a range of stop boxes that you can add. So that 
that's that. Now I'm going to add another effect into the same rack because I want a bit of reverb on this. So I'm going into the Kierhouse uh, Classic Effects. There's a range of effects here and I'm selecting the Classic Reverb. It's got a wide range of controls on this but some good presets too. So I'm just selecting one of the presets here. And there we go. And that's all there is to making some noise. Uh, next video will be about recording using the drum machines and uh, actually laying down a multi-track recording. Look out for that. Thanks for watching.